Okay. It should start streaming. Oh, I see that is completely wrong. Let's just fix that. Automatic game control off. That should do. That should work. Hey guys, welcome back. So you probably missed the first little stream. Uh, I've got the system running. Some two changes I had to make. Uh, because this was a build, you don't sort of test everything. Uh, let's see, where's the graphics card? So, this graphics card, uh, she's dead. Jim, I need to test that regulator probably or something. Doesn't work in this motherboard at all, so off with its head. Then the other thing is, I'm actually running the SATA adapter and the CROM on primary IDE. Secondary IDE doesn't want to pick up a TAPI compatibility. I've got no idea why. And yeah, she works. I'm just going to do a very basic installation on this one. Because I, I don't see any reason to deal boot this with DOS uh, 6.1. I'm just going to use the Windows uh, 98 DOS 7, so that should work. So I've got my Bootsy I made years and years ago. So let's just show you what that actually looks like. Should be marked to CD. So this is all my OS's. Now I made this years and years and years ago. I've got no idea how am I going to do the serials without you guys seeing what I'm typing. Uh, you guys can probably see what I'm typing. So if you go like read, uh, we don't have the edit, so I should have actually just said uh, print serials.txt should, no, I don't have that command either. Anyway, we'll get that sorted soon. So what are we going to run on here? Uh, Windows 98 SE because we want some DOS compatibility. Oh, this is slow. Just stuck irons in and done it through there. But then again, if I do irons, I'll probably be uh, tempted to deal boot. What I'm going to do, however, is I'm just going to make your eyes a bit difficult. Making my life additionally difficult because I've just knocked off all of my extension cables. So let's close this. much better still like darkish I could fix that but I'm not going to because this is almost done so yeah I'm probably going to sneak off to get like a cool drink halfway through this but let's use the maximum available The system works. I mean, I'm only using like the primary channel. No idea why the secondary channel ID the tappy doesn't detect properly, so doesn't detect the CD ROM. I guess you could still plug it in and just use like disable it and use the Windows drivers or use a boot disk or something, but I'm lazy. I like things just to work from the get go. 
So let's see that that's streaming. One person's watch watching. Hey man. By the way, chat should be active, uh, especially if I click like that. Let's double check. Yes, chat is active. So if you guys want to chat, feel free to do so. I really need to invest in a better webcam and better audio equipment. But that's the long term plan. I've got some audio equipment coming and uh, I should really thank my Patreon, Yvert, who has generously donated enough uh, so that we can actually get some proper audio on the channel. So you can hear my beautiful voice in all of its terrible glory. By the way, this should also be streaming out to, uh, what's it called, uh, Twitch. I should probably just double check and change the name on the stream or whatever, but Twitch is a pain to do that. But let's format the drive quickly, just a quick format. Ah, okay. I forgot. Ah, slow format. Ah, this is going to be slow. Luckily it's SD, so yeah, it'll diminish the life of the drive, but if you can't, you can't. So it's a lovely Saturday today. I'm glad that I invested in this uh, VGA splitter so that this stream looks nice and you can see what's going on on the computer and I can see what's going on on the screen using a video VGA splitter. So the upscaler is doing its job and uh, so far with the S3 card I expect to have reasonably good picture quality. That's why I chose this card. And what we're going to do with the system is I'm going to set it up, I'm going to test this S3 and if I'm not happy with the performance from it I'm going to stick uh, two Voodoo 2s in Sly into this computer. And we're going to rock on with Sly. We'll just stick one in. But uh, definitely this machine does need some sort of voodoo magic. But I think I've got like case badges in here. Yes, I still have. So let's see what I've got. So the system needs a case badge. And I've got a choice between this Duke Nukem Atomic round one, but that's not going to look nice on the system. But then I've got this lovely Quake Free badge. Which I think that it'll look nice on the system. Um, this computer, it'll probably play, yeah, Quake Free will be a good test of OpenGL. It'll probably do it at like 800 by 600 uh, with bilinear or something. Well, we have to test that out. I mean, I ran Quake 1 with a Voodoo 1, oh, with a River TNT 1 in my system for like decades. So I'm just creating a directory here which we're going to copy all of the install files to. Just to make things uh, run a bit quicker when we do the installation. And then I'm going to stick my case badge on. I wish this company still existed that made these, because just look at how nice that looks. I know it's not the best camera in the world, but there we go. Look at that lovely case badge. That doesn't screen retro system, I don't know what does. What's interesting with this motherboard is later on I can probably stick an ATX power supply in there. And then you just take the power button and you take take it apart and there's a little pin that controls when you press it if it like slides in and out. So if you remove that little pin, 
it just becomes a momentary switch and you can just wire that onto the motherboard and then BAM you have an ATX compatible case but I think AT has its uh, what can I say it has its merits and I, I think I'm going to stick with AT for now but just look at this badge now it's out of the packet look at that yeah should have bought more of these I mean, this will do until LGR makes his. I mean, then I'll get an LGR case back, badge. But let's just like peel this off. Oh, look at this. And let's stick that in there. Now, the system is legit. It detected the PS2 mouse. Yes, it did. So I made a little adapter for this board because I didn't have the daughter board for it anymore. While that does that, let's uh, stick the CD ROM in. Into here. I haven't even downloaded drivers for this PC, so I'll take you guys through my process of downloading drivers and everything else that goes with it. Uh, that DVD one doesn't like CDs. So my main system, the, the one that I'm using to stream on that, has actually got two Blu-ray drives in there. So, yeah. Okay, so custom, next. Uh, desktop wallpapers, and games, and mouse pointers. I want quick view as well. All the screen savers, all the screen savers. Uh, communication. Net meeting, phone dialer, we don't want. I don't even have a network card in the system. That, that needs to get fixed. Desktop themes, of course. Internet tools. Yeah. Outlook, don't need that. Online services, definitely don't need all of that bloatware. God, that caused a lot of uh, controversy back in the day. System tools. So what are we going to call this? The budget retro. And yeah, that, that's working fine. So that's the, oh come on. Finally detected. It is my serial keys. So when we get to that spot, I've got my serials ready. I'm not going to use a legitimate key because unfortunately I'm streaming this. I don't want you guys to see what the key is. And I can always change it later. So, so how many people are watching? One watching on uh, YouTube still. On Twitch, I've got absolutely no idea. Could be a million. 
could be a hundred, could be a thousand. I don't know. So what I will do while we wait for that to finish, let me log on and just fix the pitch thing. While you guys can't see what's going on on the other screen, I'm just going to go here to Twitch and just rename this. I'm not a robot. I'm a person, I promise. Okay, so I need to go here to... I've got no idea how Twitch even works. Extensions. Okay, let's change that. Updated. And we didn't even see our zero viewers. Ooh, that sucks. That sucks, I tell you. Mm. Ah, let me go fetch my glass of Coke while we wait. What's interesting is this. Let's see what the difference is in lag between Twitch and what's in there. Twitch and YouTube. So Twitch is at 40% and YouTube's at 23% only. So Twitch is definitely faster with streaming. But I'm just going to maximize my chat. Get the serial numbers ready. Oh my. I'll change the serial number to something legitimate after the stream. Go fetch a cool drink while you guys marvel at the Windows 98 installation screen. Fifty-seven percent. Hello to my Twitch viewer that's just joined me. I hope you like retro computers. But this is Windows 98, second edition. By the way, chat is active. I don't know if the Twitch one forwards correctly, but if you type something, I should be able to read it and reply. Same goes for my YouTube audience. Guys, it should work. So what you have here is a Pentium 2, 353 MHz, and uh, it's on a PC Chips uh, BXL100 motherboard, which uh, if you guys don't know, PC Chips is one of the most dodgy companies that's ever existed. Let's read up on it. They had this whole thing about putting fake cash chips on the motherboard and 
they didn't work, they didn't do anything. So that was a thing, that was a thing in the 90s. But from my experience running these, these boards are rock solid, they don't give you any hassles, they just kind of work. And uh, what video card we've got in here, we've got a lovely, uh, it is a 99, was it 99 whatever, but anyway, it's a Savage 4 uh, LT, which is a light edition or LE or whatever. Uh, it should be okay for what I'm going to do. I'm going to upgrade it anyway, probably not in the stream, but the whole point of building the system is to experiment on it and to swap the graphics cards and to do my thing. Let's check here. Also, a few viewers there on YouTube. Nice. Sharpness definitely leaves much to be desired, but I guess it's scaling it up to 720p. So you, you wouldn't expect it to be like dead crystal sharp, it would use a filter to do that. Ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight. It's actually pretty fast for what it is. Okay, and if, as you can see, if you do dot dot work i e work i s, it doesn't do the whole. Uh, please put in a floppy drive to like do that. Stream, stream, stream. Ah, oh, some more comments. I was gonna say. So, if anyone else logs in, at least they can see that the chat is active. I'm gonna give me a test to see if it works. That works. Sorry, 353 megahertz Pentium 2, not a 300. going to be interesting because I have to read from a monitor that's quite a distance away. Um, and guys, this isn't the correct key. If you use this one, you will get into trouble because this is a non-legitimate key but I'm going to change my key to a leg legitimate one a bit later when this PC reboots there we go yay detecting This is a slow part. Because we've got a fast hard drive, the first little part is just copying and extracting files. So it's only bound by how fast your CPU can extract stuff. This part, yeah, it's much slower because it's, it's using PMP to detect what the hard hardware you've got, etc. etc.
if I need to fill that up. So yeah, welcome to my two people watching. I wonder if I should like yeah. share the stream on Facebook and that. Uh, I don't think that's a great idea. How's the audio by the way? So, what's interesting I can talk about? Uh, retro gaming news. I had a look at that awesome uh, Wii uh, native HDMI out that someone's busy working with. And what it does is it actually takes a digital output uh, from the system before it gets the encoder, re encodes it, then sends it out over HDMI or the native. Uh, AV at the same time and the picture quality is absolutely fantastic but I just I shudder to think how much that's going to cost I mean you look at what a Wii costs, a Wii costs you in South Africa 150 Rand you can you can get a full Wii so that that's like yeah well, it's about ten dollars looking at the current exchange rate doesn't make sense um, you're going to spend a thousand Rand to pump it up but I guess for GameCube, it's quite nice. It's a bit better than the digital GameCube one, but uh, I'm on the fence about that system. I don't know. Yay! Shall we see if this actually works? November. Oh, October still. What is today's date anyway? October 13th. 20 year 2018, man. In the future. Almost two decades into the year 2000. Can you believe it? Uh, Rory Pretoria. Uh, the time is definitely not that. It's 12.53. After this is done, we need to shut down the system, rip out the SD card, Stick the SD card into my computer, start copying over drivers and things. Find drivers first. So I didn't do the logical thing, which is look for the drivers in advance. Normally I keep them on a CD, in this case I, I did not. Oops. But yeah, this is actually going a lot quicker than I expected it to. The system is really moving. And no activity in chat. Oh well. I guess Twitch is a bit difficult for people to discover you. Unless you already have a following or something. And the reason why I'm doing this stuff now is probably in about two months time, I can't really discuss it. I might not have the opportunity to build computers anymore or, you know, just hang out and do this sort of stuff. Especially I won't have the opportunity to live stream anymore. 
that's going to disappear and uh, unfortunately it's, it's just life you know all of us just do does the best that we can and uh, we carry on So I'm not going to do this so that we can, I can show you guys what the process is for finding drivers and things. Mm, set that to second screen with audio. Do some reconfiguring. Yeah, I'm sure I can do something like that. Let me go fill this up while we wait. Uh. Just back in time, two minutes remaining. I think because of the, all the RAM in the system, it's a little bit slow. Because uh, 512 megs, it's more than enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disable the page file. Which normally freaks Windows out and causes all sorts of havoc, but uh, when you're using SD card, you don't want too many read writes to that SD card. Just install plug and play my monitor drivers for now. face a little bit there. There we go. So let's see what we need to make this work. Yeah, see this will change. I'll fix that. Uh, device manager. It's display adapter didn't do that. Didn't detect the sound card. Detected the universal serial bus driver. Weird, shouldn't that? 
detected the chip site. Dollop adapter. Where on earth did you? Oh, yeah, that's fine. You, you can. I'll let you believe what you want to believe. Now, what's interesting here is it didn't detect the sound, which really sucks. So, before we shut this down, let's uh, go into the bars and just go into integrated peripherals and make sure audio is enabled there. As well as game port, because uh, we really want a game port to work. Also, I'm going to have to stick a sound card in the system. Uh, I don't want to do that right now. Yeah, M seven two six. You can see at the bottom there. With ALI 1621 chipset. Now, this is a modded BIOS though, and I think I fixed the ID channel bug. Uh, there's a DMA con bug with the configuration. Let's see, let's just go through all of these. Uh, primary graphics adapter is IGP. That's all good. Uh, my integrated peripherals? This, this is says integrated peripheral. Sound cloud enabled. Uh, seven should be fine. What I do want to change here is. Uh, Secondary channel. Looks like you can't physically disable the IDE channels on the onboard ID. Ah, uh, that's why it never. It worked. Ah, on a secondary. Okay. It was set to primary only. No wonder. No freaking wonder. Anyway, let's uh, see if Windows tries to detect the sound. Now it should install the drivers. Other drivers we should be fine because it did detect the chipset correctly as a ALI1621. So Windows 98 had some ancient drivers that worked, which is interesting. I wouldn't have expected it to. Mind you, by that time it came out. So onboard RQ, USB is 9, ID is 14, and something other. Like it doesn't give me one for the sound, which is interesting. There we go. No drivers. That's good. Because I've already downloaded drivers for that. Okay. Perfect. Stage one is complete. We now have an OS running on the system. So now comes the fun part. Let, let's get to getting everything else to work, shall we? So we have to wait for it to shut down. Wait for the all too classic. It's now safe to turn off your computer. Okay, and reach in here. So that's my operating system. Go over here. Okay, 
Okay, so what I'm going to do... Plug that in, so that's onto a card reader. Now comes the problem. How are we going to do this? Second screen plus audio. Yes, the audio still works. And I'm going to move you guys on the camera to here. Plus video capture device, add existing webcam 2. Yes, it works. myself up there so let's just go here I've already got the sound drivers so that's the only thing that was actually needing needing okay and uh, the graphics card is a number nine uh, nine video cards I just want to see which one it was that I had again so if I go here do, 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 This one. So this is Savage 4 LT. So let's grab some Savage 4 LT drones. Uh, should be able to get that from Vogons. And the driver collection is. Too lazy to just go through the forum. A driver's drivers. There's uh, the driver archive. Let's go to graphics. There's free. Okay, so we need Savage Four. Freshman's tweak drivers for Savage 3D. What exactly did he tweak? I'll download these and just quickly have a look. Uh, do, 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 do. Awesome. 3D64, Alsa. Savage 4, Windows 90X. These are drivers. But just in case, just to make sure that we cover our bases. Uh, oh, so this is OpenGL ICD. Okay, Metal Binaries, S3 Tweak, Cashman. Okay, no, this, this is a much better one to grab. So the nice thing is, oh, you guys are way too zoomed out. That's just nice. Let's, let's, let's uh, get that fixed because that, that's an issue. There we go. Now you can see what's going on here. Okay, so the nice thing is with all of this is I've actually just taken it and stuck it into a flash drive and there's the hard drive. So now we can go here. And then also, I just want to copy over some games. So let's do this. Go to this screen. Just while I'm here, I might as well get something to see if everything is working. I need, still need to install like the basics. Like, uh, uh, you'll see. There. 
goes to NCLI. I think the performance for this card is a bit iffy. Really shouldn't go down to next to nothing. Let's check the chat. Uh, nothing in the chat. Okay, drivers. See if I've still got a copy of Doom Shame where it should be somewhere here because we have to test the DOS side as well. So, Doom Shame, download, let's just grab it, another copy. Uh, archive.org. Installer. Yeah, let's just grab that. Uh, or we're we going to go later. Yeah, let's go for a one point nine. And then also let's grab a copy of Team Four because that's a good. Uh, Visa test. Perfect. Go back here to It's always a good test. That's perfect. Grab all stuff. Let's move this back here. Okay. Check the chat. Nothing in the chat. No, no. Nothing in the chat. Oh, there's my chat mark. Oh, no, no. Ah, that's fine. I'm just going to go back here to which, what profile did I use? Second stream geek. I actually created a new profile just for this. DOS machine, there we go.
it's amazing how much easier it is with SD cards. Like a million times easier. Let's see, does the screen still yeah screen works? Woohoo! We are good to go guys. I think of it, you guys are a bit too much in my face, so I'm gonna stick you down like this. There we go. It's much better because now when I look there, you can see me when I look here, you sort of can see me as well. So hopefully my boot record didn't go corrupt and I need to now change it so it doesn't boot to CD the whole time. I'll do that later. Now I'm just going to cancel these. I've got this switch to what exactly? I've got this switch to my speaker so that I can hear. So I'll switch it back to yours later. Oh word, isn't this the most easiest thing ever? Uh, we want 98 latest version. Okay, so this is the old sort of style that you have to you can do it that way. And, or you can just point the installer to search for the drivers. So let's see. Is it different? Oh, I see a difference. Okay. Ah, oh, it's one of those. Okay, if you really want to do it that way around. Yes. Windows sound system. So this actually supports WSS. Hmm, okay. External MIDI device. No, I take the one from the driver. I've lost the 16 compatible audio device. DOS mode MP4 one emulation. Yes, I'm finished installing all my audio stuff. Finished. So now I've got this on my speakers here. Let's see. works. If I switch this over to you, I think that's not connected to you. So let's see. Yeah, that thing is there nicely for you. Uh, but I think I've got the volume set there to next to nothing. No volume is right. Bring that up a little bit there. So, yeah, that's better. Okay, what are your drivers done? Let's get the display drivers quickly. So now there is a modded display driver in this nice ALJ. See, I'm old enough, oh, when Ace, not even a, yeah, Ace was ALJ. <laughs> uh, So what is in here? Savage bias as a modified bias. I'm not gonna flash that. Cash pan. Cash pan. Okay. Glide. Uh, 
XGL. It, it's a wrapper, I think. In case you don't know, this is a program that emanates 3 dfx hardware. It draws floating glide. Okay, cool. We can test that. That's very interesting. OpenGL. Just copy this file to your games directory. Just uh, only read me first in there, guys. I think you kind of uh, forgot, the, forgot to include it. Anyway, let's just do the installation. Driver, not the driver, next. Let's do the same search again. Don't tell me this doesn't have for the LS. AMD, AMD with client support, Intel, Intel with client support. Asus, Gainworld, Hercules, S3D, Excel, Winmax, no number nine. So instead of I open, let's just try generic ones. This might require installation, but let's try. S3D, Intel with client support, of course. Might have to go into safe mode to get that fixed though, but yeah. Should run. Should run just fine. Now just for my sake, I'm just going to switch this over to me and I'm going to turn the volume up considerably. While we uh, might as well fix the boot up. IDE and then C command. Let it copy. Let's see, are we still streaming? Yep, uh, still streaming, still going fine, almost an hour now. Not bad, not a lot of work for an hour. Huh? If the spade always work. Then we know. Whew, what was that flash? Oh, looks like the Monica. Something tells me the display drivers ain't correct. So let's, let's fix the display drivers. Why else I'll have to stick another graphics card in here? <laughs> Which I don't want to. Okay, so F8. Let's wait for us to go through. I actually need to press delete once, so hopefully it doesn't go into the bias. Because I really don't want to go into the bias at the moment. We will see. Yeah. Sorry for wasting your time, but let, let's just wait for this.
hopefully the actual official S3 drivers has the LT drivers with it. Or LV or L whatever. The light variant for this card. But hopefully this card isn't dead. And you see that that's also a possibility. Good old safe mode. Let's escape. Let's see what Windows is doing in the background. Just loaded IMM. I don't have anything set up in the auto eject of that, so. Okay, uh, let's go start settings control panel. Just say savage four, so let's just do those. It's a pity, fast man, whoever that was, that your motor drivers didn't work. It looked funky, it looked really nice. A possibility that the drivers is a different clock uh, speed because some of the drivers you can actually set the clock ratio and stuff in driver uh, with the old cards so it's also a possibility so trying to overclock the card to uh, Savage 4 Pro sort of speeds Notice now that this is slightly over my border. There we go. There you go. Oh, we are. There you go. Ooh, a little bit stuttery. Ooh, that's not good. Savage 4. Savage 4 GT. Slash Pro. Not really. Uh, if you say so. Okay, oh, I can reset this. The screen can be 1280. 32-bit colors. Oh, yes. You guys can still see there? Yes, you can. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. So, at this stage, we can probably do something silly like going to... Games going to Doom. Is it does this have the install? And no, it's just like straight setup. Uh, keyboard only, some lost at 220, some lost at 225, one. Mixes, eight. Let's see. So yeah, for for now that you can now already start like working and playing and stuff. But there's a few things that I normally do in advance is to like update windows and to get the modern game and stuff. Oh, that's 
thirty. So let's let's do this. Switch it over to you guys so you guys can get a listen. It's not terrible. Not bad. We can even go and we can like. Turn it down to about there. It's not a bad sound card. It's not like the best. But let's while it's in this mode. Completely forgot where that's stored. Windows uh, sound system, so the Windows sound system itself is always kind of not sound too great. Let's see what else we can do here. So there's no controls for the actual sound, so character just cut it because either video file is not present. Open the okay, let me say so. Schemes. Oh, okay, so it does actually have, like, well, okay, so it does a few. Okay, so let's see first here. You see, I've only got 8 megs of RAM here. So it's not much. Okay, so all of this is, is good and dandy, but we now need to carry on with the next stage of this, which is basic drivers and stuff like that. So, let's see if I've got that CD at hand. Got two patches. Retro basics. Let's get some of the basic things installed and then we'll play around with some of the more important stuff. Like, I want to get the Quake and that working as well. Uh, are we going to do Freedom Mark? Nah, let's just do Direct X for now. Net, are we going to install that net? Nah. I'm not going to bother with kernel EX or that sort of stuff. Or SP3 on this system. It's just not fast enough to warrant it. It's only a 333 megahertz processor, so... Yeah, 
that's extracted. Let's see what else we can do here. Let's do 3D Mark 99. We'll do CPUZ as well. Now we can just copy that off. Top neck we're not gonna need. Oh, this doesn't have internet latest internet explorer, does it? No, it does 5.5. So let's install it at Explorer 5.5. I've got six years somewhere, and that's easy enough just to transfer over at the later stage. But I'm not sure if DirectX 9 actually even worked on the CD. Which this card only supports up to DirectX 6 anyway, so don't have to go that time. You might as well just install the maximum that Windows 98 can do. Thank you for going to control panel, we can open up resource monitor. Mind you, this SD card that I'm using is like four years old and it used to be in my phone, so phones kill SD cards eventually, so yeah. It might not be 100% anymore, that's why you saw slowdown when I was copying files, but yeah, we'll see. It's finished there, it's going to reboot, so I'm not going to quite do that yet. I'm going to wait for this and we'll do both at the same time. Also, while we're busy waiting here. Yeah. Oh, it's starting to like, freak out. <laughs> Probably because I'm storing multiple things at the same time, which you shouldn't do. You should be patient. There we go.
system performance virtual memory disable virtual memory Uh, really this uh, may cause your computer to stop operating properly. You may need to be able to restart your computer. But for what I don't want to continue yet. Just no. Can we do direct start without restarting? I don't think so. The scheduler is running in the background. Ugh. Yes, you can. See, so it does detect that there's a page file, but then. Uh, so if you go here to display, let's see if DirectX is working. I should really restart first. Yeah, I'll just wait for this and restart. Because this will... You see a direct 3D no acceleration available. That's not true. That's a fawn in my side, because that needs to be fixed. So I definitely do have some acceleration for DirectX. Let's grab my coke. Ah. So are you finding the stream so far, guys? Hey guys? Stream? Yeah. I you now realize that it's actually pointless because I'm streaming this in 720p to uh, have the desktop resolution at one nine by 128 by 1024. It should be 1024 by 768 is the closest neighbor, neighbor to 720p, but who cares? Files was installed. Did you freeze? Did you actually just? No, you didn't. Okay. Uh, now we've got two things that definitely need a restart. So finish, finish. You two can fight over who sends the restart command. I think it would be a fantastic test. So let's see if I've got my Quake 3 somewhere. Little to sound and video, and it's always a reasonably big pain in the backside to make it work. Let's see if my Quake 2 is here somewhere. While that restarts and installs, Quake 2. 
Should I really get Rita or DVD box of Quiet Free? Just realized I don't have one yet. Actually, surprised the CD ROM works so well. So normally, like by the time I get them, they they crap. Lasers start fading and stuff. But this one just like works fine. system settings. So we've been streaming for an hour and 22. I'm probably going to stream for two hours max. Also notice now that my hard drive ID activity LED is working. Need to fix that too. I need a DVD size box for Quake 3. Hmm. Cache disabled and sound sounds absolutely perfect now. File zero zero, so it did actually save that. Yes, direct 3D acceleration enabled. AGP text acceleration should also technically work, but I don't know. Now it says it's DirectX 7 when it's output, but this card only supports up to DirectX uh, 6. There we go. Okay, so all of that works. Let's change the resolution down a little bit so you guys can see a bit better. That's the nearest neighbor I've got. Ah, invalid format. Yeesh. 
That's interesting. Performance. Uh, performance. Can I change the frequency? 60 hertz. Fine. Yes, okay, there we go. So, th this device, uh, the upscan converter doesn't like it if it's not like 60 hertz, which kind of sucks, but that uh, makes sense. Let's give this card a run. It's going to be slow as shit, but. Um, Let's see how slow is slow as shit. Ah, oh, invalid format. Oh, uh, guys. That's all on. Okay, I bought it. I think it's because I said plug and play. Also, I'll have to use power strip to fix that. Invalid format. That really sucks. Let's try it this way. Keep yes, advanced. I'm just going to change this here from optimal to 60 hertz. See if that works now for you. That still defaults to a wrong. <coughs> Invalid refresh rate. Dawn. instead. There we go. Adapter default works. So 
19, 22, 23, 19. It ain't terrible. It's not great though. But 3D is working, which is the most important thing that I wanted to see. So we should be able to do Quake 2 and up to like 1024, I think. It should still be like smoothish. Synthetic CPU 3D speed. It's also a good uh, system test because normally uh, if you have a problem it's about this time they would freak out. But uh, it hasn't freaked out yet. Not too shabby. After this, I'll quickly install the DOS drivers. Let's do Quake 2 first. Let's get the exciting stuff done. Definitely doesn't look bad. Picture quality is really good on this card. But it is AS3. Two hundred fifty four. That's not terrible.
We can check if I can find a quake feed I can buy on the uh, internet. Ah, oh, let's check that. Ah. While we wait for that to install, switch your guys back to. Station two version only. Great uh, for your for the power. It's an import, I think. Steam does not think. Power again. Let's see if that is an import. No, he doesn't say if it is or not. I'm hundred percent sure this guy is in port, so you yeah, you were saying. I zoomed out again. Get that fixed. Uh, Not bad. Just want to check here as well. Uh, 
Uh, I'm gonna have to wait for this. Yeah, I hate to do that. I love multitasking. So there's a patch directory here. It's only for the mission CD, so. First things first. That's interesting, there's like a purple border around the FMD. I've never seen that before. What do you think? What are you streaming works? It's kind of something that I don't always get right. <laughs> Feeling lucky, eight on by six hundred. Ah, yes, it detected it correctly. Oh. That just freezes the system. <laughs> That's something I need to fix is the drivers because this is definitely not the correct drivers. Or install mini GL drivers, you know. find any errors. I'm just wearing out my poor SD card. Six forty by four eighty.
not like that, and not at all. Uh, let's try to configure a mini GL. For GeForce 4 and mixing here. Yeah. <laughs> That'll work. That's way out of what a budget person would have put into this system in Actually, do the install directory. Okay, so now I've got the mini gel configured. This is too normal, quite a lot of the window. back this side and look for mini channel drivers. Let's go through that. Jesus. Okay. 
might have that on 3D effect, aren't they? Might. Tools. Let's see what's here. metal. Here we go. Geoprack demo maps. That's a metal collection which is the um, sort of rock that shows I don't quite want. Full. Let's see what he's got on it. The Savage Four CD. Mm, I think I'm going to put a pin in this and revisit it. I think I'm going to end the video here. One well, last little thing I want to quickly just try before I end the video. Uh, grab this. Put that to there. Let's start on this DOS. That's on it. That's a Windows setup file. See, that's a problem. <sighs> because now I need to get these working. Ah, I'll get that working later on the DOS drivers. I'll report back also get uh, the other stuff working. So for now, that's me, HPZ. Thanks for the stream. Hope you guys enjoyed.